get to visit with Steve Grove, head boys basketball coach and director of the candy camp here this summer. Steve, welcome. Tell us a little bit about the camp. Um, the camp this year is going to be held June 10th to the 14th, and that's the boys' camp, and then the girls will be held the 17th to the 21st of June. But, uh, we're always excited to see the youngsters come out and participate in our youth camps. How many kids do you normally get uh, during the summer to participate? We'll get about 150 kids total, and uh, the grades that uh, that come out to participate, we have uh, fourth through ninth grade for the boys, and that's during the first week. And then we get second grade all the way up to the 11th graders for girls, and that, that happens during the second week of camp. What kind of things do you teach them? Well, we, we do a bunch of things uh, uh, for both camps. In the mornings, we start out with the fundamentals, and we have a variety of, of camps or a variety of leagues that we do. We do a fast break league. We do a five-on-five. Five, we do a three-on-three. Three, we, we have a lightning uh, competition along with some other shooting competitions that the kids can compete in. Over the years, I would imagine you've had a number of future all-conference players that participated in your camps. Um, how do you think that, has your camp helped them do that? Yeah, all of our, you know, we, we look back at the all-conference kids that we've had, and every single one of them have attended uh, the candy camp. Now, it's not just because of the candy camp that's making them a good basketball player, but uh, it helps them in their, you know, building their foundation to become a good player. Uh, as coaches, we get to see these kids come up, get uh, familiar with them, and, and see what they can and can't do. And, and this, is, this camp is really instrumental for us to kind of project uh, possible players for, for the upcoming uh, Cardinal basketball players. And again, what are the dates? Dates are June 10th to the 14th, that's for the boys, and June uh, 17th to the 21st, that's for the girls, and also for the younger boys and girls, they'll come during that, that second week as well. And, and we want you to sign up as soon as possible online. Um, by signing up sooner, that ensures you a t-shirt, and uh, like I said, you do this online, send in uh, your, your uh, registration form from the catalog that was sent out. So hopefully see everybody show up for the candy camp. Well, I hope you have a good turnout. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Kiergarten. Our next guest is Coach John Conald from the high school football team. Uh, he's here to talk about his camps. John, thanks a lot for coming over. I appreciate it. Uh, what's your camp going to be like? Well, thanks, Dr. Kiergaard. Um, we have a camp um, in August. It starts, it's the week before our season starts, and it's for kids entering fifth grade through ninth grade. And uh, at that camp, we have it at the middle school. Last year, we had about 170 kids participate. So it's the most ever that we've had. And so we have our, our high school kids come and help coach the positions. Um, so, and then they so get to know the kids a little bit and they teach them the fundamentals of offense and defense. And so we do a bunch of skills for the first half of practice, our first half of practice. And the second half, we split them into teams and they get to play some football games and uh, touch football. And so that's kind of the exciting part about it. And they get a t-shirt for coming to camp. And on Friday, we, uh, have some watermelon and give them their t-shirt and take some pictures. And it's a good week for the kids. Do you have a lot of kids that go to camp to their future Wilmer Cardinals that play on the football team? Yep. Um, our sophomore group next year will be, it'll be their, oh, they've been to the camp all throughout their upcoming fifth through ninth grade. So, um, yeah, they'll be our first kids that we've kind of seen starting with our varsity, um, varsity groups. But our, our juniors and seniors have gone to camp when they were in eighth and ninth grade as well. So um, a majority of them now will be our fifth year with the camp. So a lot of our kids that have been, are starting in our varsity, have been in the, the youth camp. So it'll be good to see if, how much um, they've learned and progressed through the years. So we're going to play fast break football again this year. Uh, yep, we're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna try to speed it up a little bit more even and and get our guys uh, uh, running some more plays and scoring some more points. Well, I noticed there was at least one running play a game in the last couple of years. So I suppose you're gonna make some changes in the camp so that you can get them all ready for. Yeah, yeah. So, well, we like to run our quarterbacks and our backs and stuff. So, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we can find some some new guys in there to participate. My understanding, we have a youth football league this this fall. You want to talk a little bit about that and how kids can participate in that program too? 
Yeah, so after our youth camp, um, through Community and Rec, we have a tackle football league for 5th and 6th grade. And they start... Um, you know, um, a couple weeks after our season does, and and they're the dads coach the kids. And this sh last year we had six teams. Um, they play they they play each other, and then they also play area towns as well. And then our seventh and eighth grade kicks off about the same time. And their seventh grade is the first year for school ball, so um, they're at the middle school, and, and um, so they have their coaches set, and um, they play a. Play a good schedule. We've improved their schedule this year, and we play a couple more Central Lake schools, so they're able to uh, kind of get that experience of of playing in the conference before they get to the high school. Yeah, it's always a good deal to expose them to the kids they're going to play with, and when they're in high school, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of gets them to see who they measure up against, you know, and they do it a lot in basketball and baseball through the summer, so it's kind of nice in, in football to be able to uh, kind of see how they measure up. The uh, Central Lakes Conference has undergone a little bit of a shift, change. You want to tell us just a little bit about that? Um, this year, um, the Central Lakes Conference is going to 12 teams. We're adding Grand Rapids, uh, Moorhead, and Bemidji. So we're going to a north-south, and Wilmer will be in the south division. So we'll have six teams in the south, um, the St. Cloud Area Schools, and then Ricori and us. And so we'll play everybody in the south division. And this year we play Brainerd, Grand Ra and Grand Rapids um, in the uh, the north half in Alexandria. So that we'll, we'll have a seven game conference, eight game conference schedule. So it'll be, uh, um, it'll be good to kind of be able to play everybody in the conference and um, have a have a north and a south champion for that. The schools that are now coming in, they've wanted in for a number of years, haven't they? Yeah, well, you know, we played Moorhead, you know, in the since I've been here, and uh, we played Bemidji, and and we haven't played Grand Rapids, but yeah, we they've been wanting to get in, and for football, it's probably the the least uh, amount of uh, travel as far as only one day a week, but uh, it does affect our sub varsity teams, you know, because we do have to find other games because of the travel, but all, all, all in all, it's um, you know, it's it's kind of a new twist on it, so it's we're kind of look all looking forward to seeing how it work out well best of luck i hope you have a great summer with your camps and uh, have a great rest of the year thank you well we're lucky enough to have three Wilmer cardinal football players here this afternoon to talk about the football camp is that what you're here for yep. so tell us uh who you are and and what grade you're in and and what position you play i'm bussy tolson i'm in 11th grade and i play a middle linebacker for the Wilmer cardinals uh, I'm Michael Heitzman. I'm in 10th grade and I play running back for the Wilmer Cardinals. I'm Hunter Mottinger. I'm in 11th grade and I play free safety for the Wilmer Cardinals. So what's it like playing football for Coach Conald? It's a blast. Uh, you know, you just look forward to you know, going to practice every day and uh, to play for him. So it's a great time. I'm going to have to agree with Buzz on this one. I like playing for Coach Conal. I just like playing football, getting out there, and practice is always great, and it's just a good time. And uh, I agree again. Um, coming to the practice is the best part of my day, and uh, running that fast-paced offense is great. So did you, go to, did you go to the camps when you were in middle school and early high school? Um, yep, I went to the camp in 8th uh, and ninth grade, and uh, yeah. Did you learn anything while you were there? Yeah, I learned a lot. Um, learning from the, the varsity players of that time is great. Um, just getting to hang out with them and uh, learn, the, learn their techniques. So. And now I know that your dad used to be the former football coach, right? So you probably were born knowing all the, all the things you need to know, right? But <laughs> how, how did, uh, how, how's the camp helped you? Uh, what did you learn that made you a better football player? I actually learned a lot about how to secure the football, the points of pressure that you have to do, and um, just all around made me a better football player with everything we've done in the camp since I participated in them. So it's just been a great experience. I'm lucky to be able to do this stuff that we do. So would you recommend to all the kids to go to camp? Definitely, I'd recommend it to any kid that just wants to have fun and just wants to be with their buddies. Um, it's great, uh, you know. Like like Coach said earlier, uh, we play we play football, we play a lot of games, and uh, you know we get to work, so it's a great time. And we all know we're going to go eight and zero this year, right? Right. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, you know it. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. Thanks, guys.